Hey teachers, so I'm just here with another quick video for you with another Google form that you can use. And it was actually made by my husband who came up with this idea after I was complaining about how much marking I have to do with this new Google Classroom. So I'm putting out worksheets and I'm constantly getting information back, but it means that I'm also having to constantly give feedback. And with 150 students, um, it becomes very uh, time consuming. And so this is a good way of getting them to actually reflect on their own learning and doing a little bit of self-assessing rather than always us giving them formal feedback. It also probably makes them interact with that feedback a little bit more. I know some students probably go in and read our comments and probably not give it too much of a second thought. So I'm just going to show you quickly in Google Forms how to do this one. So as I said before, open up Google Forms and you're just going to go to blank quiz and it's quite an easy structure. So um, you shouldn't struggle too much with this one. You're just going to title it. So I'm going to title it um, livability. I think this is my go-to topic when I make these ones up here as well. You want to title it? That's where it's going to save to your drive at. So livability. I'm going to create a new section. And the first thing I'm going to do is put in a question. So I'm going to call this one question one. And then up here, add question, just like we did with the other quizzes that I've shown you. And I'm going to say, what makes a place livable? Now, instead of multiple choice like before, we want to change it to paragraph or long answer text. That means they can click on there and type in their answer. Now, once that's done, we need to go new section. And this part here is going to be our example answer. So once they've answered it, they're going to come here and they're going to see an example answer. And this is where you want to write exactly the kind of things that you want them to write. You also want to make sure you're modeling um, good literature, good grammar, and also putting it in full sentences. Because I know that's something our students haven't been doing really well with their answers. So um i'll just put in a quick one there are many factors that make a place livable such as and i would go on to finish off that whole thing but i'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me answer questions about geography so i'm then going to add another section so there's going to be three sections for each question in this section i'm going to put self-assessment so this is where they assess their work rather than you having to assess their work the first question I'm going to put in is, um, did I get this question correct? And the pop up, they pop up here already with answers. So I'm going to click yes and no. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to put one more question. So one section, but two questions. And then I'm going to write, how could I have improved my answer? So the idea is they put their answer in, they read your example answer, and then they put in their own self-assessment of how they could have improved. And it's that simple. And we really just can um, repeat it from there. So we'd go new section and we'd start again with question two. That's simple. And you can put in as many as you want. Um, if you want to make it prettier, I'll show you this quickly. Customized theme. You can pick colors. You can choose images from Google Classroom or you can upload your own. So upload something about livability. Once that's done, I'll show you quickly what I do to put this into a classroom. So I'm going to go over here to my test classroom. Um, I, well not I, you must put this as an assignment. If you don't put it as an assignment, if you just put it on your stream, it's not going to come up with who did each answer. It's just going to come up with response one, response two, response three. So you can't see what student wrote the answer. And that's pretty important. So we're going to go create assignment. Um, you're going to give it a title as always. I normally give them a date, so 30th of the 3rd, instructions, uh, when you want it done, etc. And then you're just going to click Add, Google Drive, um, and it should come up in your recents because you've just made it. So livability, tap that in there. Now you're ready to go. I'll show you one little trick that I learned at school as well up here, assign. If you right click down, I'm showing this on a few of my videos, I just think it's really cool. You can actually schedule them so when do you want it released so i'm doing this on a saturday i don't want to give my students work on a saturday and overwhelm them um, so i'm going to put it for march 30th at 9 a.m and if we hit schedule and without me even coming back into google classroom it's going to upload it straight away at 9 a.m on monday so that's a another really cool trick okay cool um i hope you guys have enjoyed these videos i've got two more please feel free to share them with as many teachers as you want they are unlisted though so they need the link but share those links around and if you have any questions or there's anything else you really want to know about using Google Classroom, just let me know. Um, you can send me an email, sam.coburn1, C-O-B-U-R-N, 1 at det.nsw.edu.au and um, I can try and help out. All right. Thanks, guys.